Have you ever wondered what's inside of a BMW KL96 fuel filter and pressure regulator? Well, if you stick around, you can find out. The way that I think I want to do this is just to take my hacksaw and go around this seam here. I think that'll give us the best um, way to get everything pulled out. And I don't think there's a large spark risk with a, you know, a tool steel hacksaw on this aluminum going very slowly. So I'm comfortable doing that. However, uh, there's never any guarantees when working with gasoline. So I'm going to try and set this up somehow so that I don't have to just hold it by hand. So I've just got this very gently clamped in my vise and my, uh, my plan is just to do a few cuts, rotate it, a few cuts, rotate it, and that should get us there. This aluminum is very soft. So it looks like this part is too thick up here, so I'm actually going to move down to this uh, neck down area. All right, here's the big reveal. Will it pull out? Ah, interesting. That is not quite what I expected, but that means that we can remove this regulator portion separately. And then that, I might have to deburr that to take this plastic piece out. I'm gonna do that real quick, I'll be right back. You can see the regulator is completely separate and um, separated from the filter. I thought that these two would have been open to each other in some way, um, but nope. And then I tried getting this plastic piece out, but it doesn't want to budge. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get that out of there. I think I figured out a way in here. I just stabbed a pry tool through and now we can hopefully just peel this up. It's wedged in there so tightly that it's bending my screwdriver. I'm gonna get a stronger screwdriver. Hopefully it doesn't wreck this one. Well, I'm glad it's in there this tight. So now what I think the problem is, is that this here is peened over. So I might have to drill that out. Hmm. Don't try this at home. I am a trained professional in a controlled environment.
interesting construction. I don't know if you can see it, but the center tube, this one here, goes all the way through the device, and that is in fact what goes through here and goes into the center of that, which might be the pressure relief back to tank. And then anything that goes through those four holes there goes to the outside of the goes to the outside of this pressure regulator and that's what ends up going to the outlet. The reason why I'm making that assumption is because how else would the, if this was the inlet, how would it get through the outside of the filter media? And can I just so that filter media is also pinned down to the bottom somehow. Uh, I think the plot thickens here. Let's try and pull out the filter media. Well, that's in there pretty tight, so I might have to go around this part and cut that open as well. This is turning out to be a lot more work than I thought, but I'm glad it's well built. I mean, if this thing was cheaply made, it would not be this difficult to get into. So that has now been sliced open. And the question is, will this come out? We have an almost identical plastic cover here at the bottom. However, this one has, if I wipe this off a little bit, let me, re I'll deburr this too, actually. You'll see a bunch of holes around the periphery there, and that's where the fuel goes in, I bet ya. Try and get that pulled out. No, this one's going to be difficult too. Yep, it looks like we're going in the old fashioned way, like I did the first time. Come on. I'm glad this is a soft plastic. It actually feels quite a bit like uh, high-density polyethylene. There goes fuel everywhere. And there goes that into the fuel. I don't think gasoline is too good for the uh, ink on this Ulfa cutting mat. But I don't think it matters. You know what? Yeah, this looks like it's going to be the easiest way in. And there we go. A filter full of aluminum chips. And boy, is that black. I mean, I would expect no less, but that is impressively full of junk. And that is really well bonded to that plastic. Let's cut this uh, into a sheet. And I'm going to use my all-time favorite scissors here. That is actually really long. I'll actually, I'll probably be able to get you a uh, surface area 
calculation here because it goes all the way from here to over there. I would be willing to bet the uh, YouTube algorithm is going to hate me doing this. By that I mean like the compression algorithm. So that is easily over a meter long. I'm going to get a solid measurement on this. Also, there's the, uh, the empty tube there. Not a bad chunk of aluminum. Then here's the, uh, the percolator tube. Yeah, you know, this thing's actually really well made. I'm impressed. So let's see, that'll be... To here is about 20 inches. There's 40, 50, nearly, nearly 55 inches of length. And this filter is eight and three quarter inches. So, um, 55, I'll, I'll take it down a little bit. I'll say 54 times 18 and three quarters. What is that? Um, future me put the, put that number right here and that's how much surface area it has. And I'll be so kind. I'll even do a metric conversion in square, er, yeah, in square centimeters. And then I'll even do you one better in square meters right there. That is a lot of filter. You could uh, make an accordion out of that. So, and now my hands are all filthy again. They feel very dry. This probably is not good for my hands. Wear gloves. So that's what's in the, uh, the filter. Let's see if I can pull this regulator apart. It looks like it just has a pin here, but uh, I guarantee you it's not gonna be as simple as just popping that out. It's. Oh, maybe I was wrong, again, in a good way. And you're not even looking. Come on, I'm up here, not down there. Ooh, it's crusty. You know what, yeah, look down here. Can you hear the, the crackling and crunching of something? <laughs> oh man, this smells really bad like gas. Surprisingly, the filter wasn't that strong. And now it feels kind of stuck. I take that back. So it looks like we have three ceiling elements here. And very nice colors too. Oh no, I broke it. Now it'll never go back together. That's a pretty hard plastic. That might be like uh, ABS, Delrin, some, one of the harder plastics. Um, but then again, it could be com something completely different. This, uh, that's almost as hard as the blue one, but this O-ring is probably... Um, Whatever the gasoline safe kind of uh, rubber is, I don't know. But that's, that. this is very, very soft. So is that. And I bet you that's as far as we're going to be able to get into this um, without being even more destructive. And you know what? If you want to look at how uh, pressure regulators work, uh, go to another video because I'm not going to be able to uh, describe it as well as someone else will. But that, I will tell you, that, and that has some weight to it. That is a very high quality component. Um, but these do fail. I'm not saying that this was a failure on my car exactly. Um, 
getting this filter changed out because it had, I'm just gonna say if it was half the life of the car, it's gonna have half the number of miles. So this probably has about 100,000 miles on it. And that's a lot of uh, gasoline through the tank. Because if you take 100,000 miles and divide it by an average of, let's say, 26 miles per gallon, you will end up burning this many gallons of fuel. And that is a lot of fuel to burn. And just think of all the possible contamination that could have ended up in this filter. Um, dirt that collects on the nozzle for the fuel, uh, like, you know, filling up at the pump. That's probably where most of the dirt's going to come from. Um, also, any dirt that just gets into the uh, fuel filler cap and fuel filler door area, um, just from driving along, and then you go and open it and dust falls in, that's all going to get trapped here. The big chunks are probably going to be filtered out by the, uh, the sock pickup on the fuel pump, but, you know, all, all that smaller stuff is going to end up in this filter. So, let's uh, bring in all the components here for a big family reunion of, of, of garbage. And, well, Germany, thank you for making a quality component. And uh, I'm going to throw this away now because it stinks like gasoline. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed seeing what was inside of the fuel filter and pressure regulator. So uh, until next time, see ya.